Hello all, welcome to our channel. This is very important option for SEO regarding for static website and how we can use from the HTML website from SEO purpose. This complete dependent by the CPAN option. First of all, we have to one by one with a step we'll discuss the particular option will be how we can URL structure, meta title, meta description, meta keyword, alt tag, header tag, and anchor test, canonical form, robot.txt file, XML sitemap, everything we can discuss will be here. First of all, control U, there is a paid source. In this one, we have using title will be like this, dislocation. The only one is title will be dislocation. So first of all, it's a single page website, not for the multiple pages. So these are only for single page. We have to create your website on the particular things. So that page, how we can optimize, now we'll discuss. First of all, go to cPanel. They click for file manager option. We have option name is called public underscore HTML. Any kind of changes that is only for public underscore HTML. In this open your particular file. Here, first of all, updating for title description keyword. So how we can updating for that is a particular code is there. There is option will be title, meta description, meta keyword, author name. So first of all, copy this title order is there. No need to add the title. You can add your meta description, keyword, everything. In this, all will be same name. I don't, don't write any kind of name. Just I'm showing for example, how we can add in for each individual pages in HTML website, how we can add in for title, description, keyword, and author name. So there's a four option will be done. This will be finished. Next option, title done, description done, keyword done, author name done. Next to one, all tag. So control U is done. We can control F JPG images, which is image will be here. JPG images. You can see this one. All images are there here. Textimonial. Here is the image will be all tags. Particular. Control F JPG all tag is missing. So every all tag, how we can write in for your total 27 images. I'm not done by all tag. A single all tag is not there in a particular web pages. Where you can go to particular web pages, where is our image exactly will be there. Here is image logo.png. The image name I can write for distal rakish. The image name you can write in for distal rakish. What is the line will be 58. First, we can go to 58 page. 58. Previous, this image will be no alt tag is there. This is an image. The image will be no alt tag. After changes, now you can refresh. The line will be 58. The alt name will be done. Image specific name. So HTML tag, everything will be manually. You can write from HTML. So previous classes, we discussed about the uh, particular WordPress, particular PHP website, we can discuss. This is a particular HTML file. Each and every image, you're missing all tag. You can write your manually writing for your particular website. Where is the image? You can copy this content, all tag is equal. You can go to this. We can find out image. Here is the image. It is not an image. You can go to this. Here is image. Image after. Here is the adding the particular file. Save this. We can go like this. Where is our images? We can follow the all images and update the file name is called all is equal. Your particular name is compulsory important. So any kind of static website, how we can writing for where is image name? When you find out like an extension dot jpg dot png after that you can writing for alt is equal your image name you are you have to mention it that is compass and important for each and every images now 
next option header tag in a total website this Lagashi is there this will be i'm using for h1 tag same it is edit control f and h1 see h1 tag is the using for distraction one is the h1 tag so in a total website is indicate for which one distal akashi is the representative for this particular website so that is called this is the h1 tag you can use from the our website will be using for highlighting of the content purpose so that is really writing for h1 tag suppose we can writing for h2 but suppose definitely you have question mark h2 immediately font will be changed h1 h2 font will be a lot of difference and see this one if i'm give h2 here you give h1 this will be here any tag h1 is seen too early expected other end tag so that is the wrong one if you mention the wrong one also immediately they show for syntax in a particular hosting file option so those steps we are also compulsory follow to update the your particular website at that tag h1 h2 h3 h4 but which is a primary mandatory field h1 tag is the first primary file to update on your particular website next anchor text each link specific name so when you click here they go to suppose pages both page here everything will be compulsory will be dependent by option for example go to home page is a digital lockage okay i can go this yeah href Give me the YouTube link. Okay. Refresh. Now, anyone click for this package one, they go to YouTube channel. They give for hypertext option. They give for hypertext option. So, in this one, Target is equal blank refresh. When click for this package, they open for the another tab on your particular YouTube channel. So this name in the particular name, I can give hyperlink. Any in your particular name, when you click for here, they go to here. So why I'm writing for target is equal underscore blank is called. This is the code will be useful for any link will be open for the new tab purpose. This is a customized code, but I'm explaining for along with the customized code also. Anchor is nothing but any particular link will give one specific name is called. If it's a not YouTube channel, when I'm click for, they go to YouTube channel. What is called? The name will be represented by the link of the YouTube channel. What is the name is called? Sragesh. The name who will be give the name anchor text what is the anchor text syntax will be a h r e f link name as close with the a option this will be anchor text option now this is very very important for canonical url canonical url what is our web page we can copy this we can update from the your particular website after title everything yeah, which link is uh, having home page? Copy the URL. Same one I'm writing for canonical URL. Now refresh, Control F, canonical. This is a single page website. I'm writing only for single page URL. This is called canonical URL. The single page will be single page relative. We can go for the particular option so those options we can follow and update by the 
canonical URL and particular HTML website. Next one, robo.txt file. Same like that, you can create by robo.txt file, upload on the particular website. It's a previous done by video will be by using for policy news, a previous option. Now will be same, copy the URL and update it, refresh. What we can do for, where you can upload? Public underscore HTML. So we can go for upload file. Logo.txt file. How it is know that after dot com. Logos.txt. File is the updated. Now XML sitemap is a single page website. Single page, multi dimension will be there. We can click for always start it. They count number of pages and they will be download from the XML sitemap, upload your particular file. So previous any files are there XML sitemap, you can delete that file. So download. Now immediately. Upload option, XML site. So how to check after dot com. Sitemap dot XML. This is an updating for example, sitemap dot XML option. So those are the steps we can follow the particular things up to this one. Your structure, meta title, meta description, meta keywords, alt tag, header tag, anchor test, canonical URL, robot.txt file, and XML sitemap. So these steps are very important on a particular HTML website, add manually in your particular option. So this is the step will be followed. Remaining uh, Google Analytics Search Console 403, 404, everything is available by the, my videos are available into the, my channel follow these options and the same procedure will be followed for each and every website. There's no coding will be there. Simple, we can accept and score and update the file into any cPanel and the code will accept it and show for search console and analytics option. Those steps you can follow based on video practice by any kind of website. So this is the way any customized website will update on the particular website and using for cPanel option. Any static website, the use option name is called cPanel option. Just log in the cPanel and follow the conditions. Still, you have any question about this one and uh, how to use the cPanel, you can feel free to ask my channel. You can join us with us for uh, more information. You can uh, join our course also, will help by the more understanding subject. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe our channel.